welcome and thank you for watching in this video i like to discuss about pelvic outlet now i am telling the about the boundary of the pelvic outlet pelvic outlet is bounded anteriorly by lower border of the pubic symphysis here the arcuate pubic ligament is also attached posteriorly uh, tip of the coccyx and anterolaterally ischial pubic ramus two side ischial tuberosity and posteriorly there is a ligament this is the sacro tuberous ligament this ligament has two attachment site one is the sacrum another is ischial tuberosity so it is roughly a diamond shaped space so this is the boundary of the pelvic outlet by a imaginary line horizontal line drawing attaching to ischial tuberosity this is the anal triangle this is urogenital triangle and this posterior surface part is covered by anal uh, pelvic diaphragm and urogenital triangle is covered by the urogenital diaphragm now about the axis of the pelvic outlet the center of the pelvic outlet is the axis and it's above attached with the sacral promontory and this uh, axis of the pelvic outlet is corresponding with the canal of the vagina now about the uh, size of the pelvic outlet the anterior posterior diameter is maximum in female and this anterior posterior diameter extend from the lower border of the pubic symphysis to the tip of the coccyx there is also a oblique diameter which is um, situated one point is situated in the middle of the ischial pubic ramus another point is situated in the middle of the sacrotibus ligament and there is also transverse diameter which uh, attached with two ischial tuberosity in female the anterior posterior diameter is about 12 the oblique diameter is 11 and transverse diameter is 10 but in male the anterior posterior diameter is 8 and oblique diameter is 10 and transverse diameter is 8 so this is all about pelvic outlet uh, if you like this video please press the like button and please subscribe my channel